Hello, everybody. Welcome to Or Whatever You Do Fishing. We are on our way to Lapush, Washington for the Lingcod and Bottom Fish opener for the 2024 season. After we launch the boat, we're going to stop in about 150 feet of water and catch a few sand dabs for live bait, uh, hoping to get some larger lingcod today. And the sand dabs and live bait seem to work well for a uh, larger lingcod. grade of fish uh, versus artificial. So hopefully we can find the sand dabs and uh, get a big ling hooked with them. Here we go. Here we go. Opening trip. Where are we headed? The rock pile. The lings and maybe a couple of big bass, but not limits. Nah. I'd like a couple of nice vermilions like they got yesterday out here, but it's a hit or miss. But I definitely don't want catch the same grade of links that they got yesterday. Really small. Eight to ten pounds is good eaters, but it's not why we go to the rock pile. I want something in the 15 to 20 pound range. If we get one like that, it'll be a good day. We did stop for sand dabs and we were only able to get about five. Uh, there wasn't a lot around and it was a little bumpy and windy to start the day. So after we got five, we finished going out to the rock pile to start fishing for these lings. They're all in a way, princess. You're tough. Princess, you're a queen. First drop down with the sand dab. Oh, oh, you let it go. That was a huge fish. Oh. 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 My sand dab is still there. Yeah. off the rocks for a second and I stopped but you you're yeah. going don't do that no oh you ripped off your whole Huge. Oh, I like the 
Fine. Drop it down. Took it and started swimming up.
can't tell with the current how. It was getting hit on the way down. Yeah. Yeah, there's a metric a ton of bass right below the boat. About 140 feet down. Yep. This little yellow eye, or yellow tail. Have teeth? No. A little like catfishes. Oh. And they don't get see on the rock pile? Yeah. Oh. You see that? Yep. That's how you lose a lot of big fish. Okay. Not checking. It's like frayed a little bit? Yep. Big one on. It just snaps. Break it. Thank <laughs> you. 
the other ones. Yeah. Seven pounder, yeah. That's what Ed and them got. Yep. We got a little, got a little bit of luck on the live bit. Yeah. We might have got a bigger one. Next time we got to get more sand out to use a heavier tackle right away, right? I mean, two of them broke you off completely. Yeah, but they probably, they probably just fix themselves in their rock hole. Oh. Sawed me off on the rock. I know me either. I was winded. How am I winded from that little, that little tiny baby? Oh no, too small. That's a itty bitty. Oh 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 oh. Barfing up everything. I'm going to get those pliers. bus for a little while there.
this one. There it is. Nice link. Oh, he's gonna come up. I can't take him on the water. They'll shake loose and I'll be all popping loose. Oh. Like, look at that, barely hooked yeah. loose. That's crazy. Ah. What happened here? Okay, okay there we go. Bigger than mine. Got it. Not bad. It's perfect. You have to take it. Fifty inches per crank is uh, helps. Oh, it's a widow. It's a good fish. Tiny heads on them. It's all fillet. Get rid of it. Yeah, we don't need any bass today. We've got bass. There we go. Cole's hooked up. Revealing. Uh, it's a ling, it's a decent one. Definitely gonna keep it. Biggest one of the day. Got it? Yep. Nice. Nine, ten pounder. End the day. Perfect. Alright. Four nice links. Nothing huge, but all good eaters. I like it. Set. 
Thumper. <laughs> nice. It's not a bad fish. No. I gotta save those giant ones for farther along in the season. <laughs> West Coast Thumper. We were able to get our limits today. Um, all the fish were between seven and 10 pounds. Um, they weren't the monsters that we wanted. Uh, the biggest fish we hooked of the day, uh, two really nice ones, both uh, broke me off in the rocks. It's the way it goes. Um, it sucks to lose a big fish, but we we're happy to get two nice limits of really decent eaten sized fish. There was a million bass around and we probably could have caught as many as we wanted that day, but we didn't keep any. Um, we were actually just trying to get through them at some po at one point during the day. It was tough to get by them to get down to the bottom for the lings. So all in all, it was a fun day. Uh, it's great getting out there. Enjoyed the, the fishing, enjoyed the time with my wife. Um, we got a lot more fishing left to do this season. That just was enough to, you know, wet our beaks and uh, get us excited for the rest of the season. Um, so we'll see you back at the docks and we'll uh, clean one of these lingcod up for you. Boat lunch. Mm -hmm. What do you got in that salad? <clears throat> Mediterranean chicken. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, feta cheese, cucumbers, bell peppers, olives, and something else I'm forgetting. Feta? I thought I said feta. Did you? Mm. A dressing. Yeah. What kind of dressing is it? Uh, it's a uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Nice. Best boat lunch I've had in a while. I forgot to cut the avocado. Oh well. He's back, but he turned white. Oh. Yeah. That's a ghost. It's nice and cold. So lay in the lincata, come right up here. Put ball right up to the head. All that head meat. Good little tag after that. And these are uh, hard in the rust, but these Dexters have a serrated edge on the back, which is good for just tracing the spine all the way down. Tail and go out. There go. And back up. Get those pin bones. Go right to them. It's a spinal column. Get over it. And then go back down to the angle to get all your meat. the rest of the pin, pin bones over the ribs and then 
down. One nice fillet. Didn't really miss much. And then you just flip it over and you repeat on the other side. That's it. Nothing to it. All right. If we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook with that ling cod that we got earlier today. And this is one of our favorite recipes. Jeremiah did this. Uh, we usually do it on the pellet grill, but today we're going to do it on the stovetop. We've also done this recipe in the oven before. It's really flexible. You can use whatever ingredients you have on hand. You can change it up. It works really well, kind of no matter what you do almost. So I hope you guys give this one a shot. If you don't have ling cod, uh, this works well with pretty much any white fish. We haven't tried it with salmon yet, but I would bet it would be great with that too. All right, so this one is really easy. Uh, it basically makes its own sauce. I like to have it over pasta, but you don't have to have it over pasta. You just chunk up some tomatoes and the fresher and the riper the better, of course. They can be decent sized chunks. They can be tiny chunks. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We always use fresh tomatoes in this, but if you were in a pinch and didn't have any, I, I'd do it with canned diced tomatoes too. Do an alarming amount of garlic because we love garlic. I'm gonna cut up this whole onion too. No judging the knife skills, we're at the fishing cabin and I am cutting everything with a fillet knife, so. Not that I'm a professional cutter without a fillet knife, cause I am not. Good news is it still cuts, whether you do it exactly the way you're supposed to or not. just decent size slices for this. And I grabbed three cloves, uh, pretty decently sized cloves of garlic. I think a fillet knife would be better for onion, but somehow it's not. Okay, before I finish cutting this, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna preheat our pan, uh, medium to medium low. Since we're cooking this on the stove top, we need to take that into account. take half of this butter and melt it in the pan so we can get our vegetables sauteing. I've already got water over here getting ready to go. Onions in the pan first. Let's 
take a little adventure. There we go. Look, look at these fillets. They're giant and gorgeous. I like to do big chunks for this. over here and let's see let's see how this is doing so, the light on. Yeah. <laughs> so basically I just want these onions to saute for a little bit and we're gonna let those get nice and soft before I add in the garlic and the tomatoes and the wine and all that good stuff. Okay, for seasoning, we're gonna do salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, just your typical all-purpose seasoning. Really, just play this by ear. Go with, go with what looks good to you. Or check out our website. The recipe, including all the in, the measurements, uh, are online. Or whatever you do.com. We measure with our hearts, so. Okay, don't forget the back side. Oops. Our sauteing. These are gonna get plenty more time to cook, so we're gonna add the garlic. cook this on the grill uh, or the pellet grill specifically we kind of make a base we leave the onions super chunky we leave the tomatoes at like this kind of super chunky but we use that to um as kind of a platform for cooking the fish but since we're doing this on the stove top this time switching it up a little bit also because i can't follow a recipe to save my life so I can do this more efficiently. Basil. 
maybe like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, I'd say, for the basil. So I just added the wine to the pot along with some lemon juice and we're going to let this cook and turn the heat down. Let's see what it looks like so far. Oh yeah. That is just about done. flaky. Lingcod is my favorite. It used to be walleye, now it's lingcod. Okay. okay, let's do the, let's do a little taste test here. It. I like it a lot. It's the real test. This is his recipe. It's blazing hot. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Did you all right? Winging it? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Briny. Just a little. Here's how I do it. Mixed with pasta. Mm. 